Essex made slow progress on the opening day of their big LV County Championship clash with Kent at the Spitfire Ground St Lawrence in Canterbury. The visitors game in hand on promotion rivals Northamptonshire. Geraint Jones decided to have a bowl after winning the toss and it took Mark Davis only three balls to have Jake Mickelborough caught by a sprawling Daniel Bell Drummond at short leg. And it was 19 for two when the in-form Greg Smith was sharply taken at slip by Adam Riley off Darren Stevens, who's something of a nemesis to Essex. It was a sluggish start for the promotion hunting visitors who have hit good form of late form which saw them enter this contest only 29 points behind second place North Hants, who missed this round of games having already played one more than Essex. O.A. Shah battled hard for his runs with the occasional pressure reliever. Essex would have been delighted too to have Gautam Gambier back in their ranks after he returned to India for personal reasons. He found scoring runs no easier than anyone else in an attritional morning session. Indeed, Gambier had been at the crease for 42 overs by the time that he threw his hands at a wide ball from Charlie Shrek and found Brendan Nash at cover point. Gambier left for a 132 ball 36. Undoubtedly, the pick of the Essex batsman was Shah, who mixed a solid defence with some aggressive shots we've all become accustomed to over the years. He certainly has his own way of playing. These boundaries saw him race through the 40s, meaning that his half-century was reached off 118 balls, this being his fourth fall from his last 10 deliveries, taking his tally of boundaries to seven. It was an important knock in what have been tough conditions to bat in, certainly freely. Ryan Tender Scarter found playing his natural game difficult, that was for sure, and when he went on the sweep to Riley, he was LBW for 11 and 117 for four. Those runs had taken 54 overs to accumulate, but at least Shah was then able to find some support from Ben Folkes, who ensured that no more wickets were lost before the weather ended the day 19 overs early. By then, Shah had advanced to 83, and with Folkes helping himself to 38, Essex would be able to go again on the second day on 186 for four, a score they'll be looking to build on to put themselves in the box seat.